President Paul Kagame has urged the Youth Connect Africa participants not only to learn from their current experiences but also draw valuable lessons from history, which he has pointed out are a, par are a powerful guide. We have the details with Adam Squizera. At the opening ceremony of the 7th edition of Youth Connect Africa Summit that took place in Kigali this Friday, during a panel discussion on the intergenerational dialogue taking Africa forward, President Pokagame reflected on his past as a refuge, urging Youth Connect Africa participants to learn not only from their present experiences but also draw invaluable lessons from history, which emphasized as a powerful guide for the future. But it, it is disheartening to, to when you see that what I'm talking about then, so many years ago, in the 60s, some of them are happening even now. You still have people, especially young people, suffer the most, I imagine, and their mothers, and uh, you still have people suffering, and suffering because of politics, because of uh, all kinds of uh, bad governance. Uh, and. Um, yeah, today, why should, I, as I experienced it when I was four years, why should it be happening now anywhere? It doesn't have to be in, in this country. Why should it happen anywhere, say, on our continent? That uh, we still have refugees, we still have uh, uh, tribal conflicts, we still have all kinds of uh, things people fighting each other than building themselves and building their countries. Uh, so it, it's, it, for me, it, it's a, a lesson learned, a lesson that also shaped some of us. Prime Minister Samuel Sokowane Matekane of the Kingdom of Lesotho, reflecting on the summit's theme, shared insights from his entrepreneurial journey that began at the age of 20. He highlighted the unique opportunities available to today's youth, which hold potential for both national and continental growth. In my case, I started business in a very young age. I think when I started business, I was around 20. You'll find that uh, in those days, it's way dif different from now where children have got advantages of going to school, learning, studying, and all the things that are associated with the, the future today. President Pokagami has also pointed out on the importance of good governance and enabling political environment to foster the growth and the development of the youth in Africa. So we have to invest in, uh, uh, in our uh, different systems that uh, the young people grow through, uh, whether it is education, it is, uh, uh, but there's something we always forget at times. Uh, you provide education, you mind their health, you uh, call upon them to participate and even in their own growth as well as their country's growth. But there has to be that environment that actually allows everything to happen. I'll come back to the politics of everything. The politics that uh, allows stability to prevail, and therefore within that, all kinds of things to be done that we are talking about. A Kenyan entrepreneur and Powerland project founder, Mombi Ndugu, emphasized the need for governments to actively create pathways for young people to secure jobs that contribute to economic development. So if we don't have a solution on how our young people can be paid, then how do we expect the economy to grow? And this just goes back to answer your question regarding the future of work. The future of work is not linear, it's dynamic. It requires a lot of agility, especially around education. How are we 
training our young people? Why are we taking so long to revise curriculums in universities, in schools? Because now it means that a lot of young people are missing out and there's a huge gap, market to, uh, skills to market gap. Big conversation served as a powerful reminder to the youth of their responsibility to be solution seekers, embodying the strength of the content. Some participants left with valuable takeaways. To go back to my world, my society, and influence the world with transformative teachings and character, as well as gaining skills, sustainable development skills that can transform Africa. And together we can indeed raise a new generation of purpose-driven young leaders. Youth Connect 2024 brought together over 3,000 youth from across African continent. Alongside panel discussion on the intergenerational dialogue, participants also enjoyed the entertainment performances at the first day of the summit. Adam Squizera, Arotinius.